actually, you probably heard me count down, but that's how I make sure things are synced. As you can see... Yep. This... It's Maru's Dragoon Spirit. Oh, I'm surprised that Maru was recognized. Recognized. Ugh. I suppose I would be, too. Does that mean this Dragoon Spirit chose me? It means, am I one of the Dragoons? Speaking of which, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. The last part, we got a black screen. In this part, I'm going to tell you, I actually had some troubles getting past the Lennis battle because it kept giving me that black screen. I have this new disc because the last disc is so scratched it wouldn't even play properly. Put it in, start the, get, start the console up, it wouldn't even get past uh, Sony Computer Entertainment America Presents. So, yeah. I think the solution was that I just kept a lid down with a controller. <laughs> My PlayStation 2 sucks. It's old. But anyway, in this part... Yeah, let's just read this dialogue. Acquired Blue Sea Dragoon Spirit. I'm a Dragoon 2! Kind of expected by now. Dragoon spirits attract each other, and dragoons gather as the dragoon spirit desires. As so as fate leads. Are we drawn to each other like that? Is that what you're saying? It's just folklore. You're going to pursue Lloyd, aren't you? Unfortunately, we have to go meet King Zior to tell him we couldn't bring the Moon Dagger back. Understandable. Maru, you can stop celebrating. Aren't you hurt? No, thanks to you, Dart. Awkward moment. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Fine. Hey, guys! Don't you ignore me like that! Hey, wait for me! Making sure my mic's on. Hang on. Alright. So, yeah. I'm actually quite relieved to see that the disc works. Just in case the game wants to pull a fast one on me, I'm going to save. Because, I mean, I don't want to go through that battle again. I've seen that thing so many times. The cutscene, the introduction to the battle, the me epically owning that water drag. You, you don't even know. You guys aren't going to like it, but this was going to be the third and final try to see if the... Actually... Okay, I opened that To see if the game would actually work with the console, so otherwise... I'll tell you. That battle took forever and a half. Anyway. <laughs> Cursed shell screws and their physical barriers. Um, as I was saying, if I couldn't get this game to work after the third try is gonna postpone it because I don't really I'm not in the mood to just keep trying and trying again so I mean yeah that would have been bad oh, wow I have three editions level five that's good because the levels the seventh edition that dart has is only unlocked when you have the first six fully mastered or at least to level five not fully mastered like volcano so I mean right now we have the as strong as Volcano, but gives much more SP Crush Dance, which I'll probably be using it for any kind of required battle. Madness Hero is now our going to be our newest and most used edition. I don't remember ever using it, actually. <laughs> um, funnily enough, I don't remember going past Crush Dance. So, any level 6 edition I get... If that seems familiar, then yeah, I have to go through it. As you can see, Rose already has her three editions, so we just have to master all three and she'll get her little her fourth one. Hashel, not quite. Albert, master his four. Maru, we'll work on her. Kongol, we'll work on him eventually. But anyway, I would like to say it's time to replace somebody in the party, only temporarily. Uh... Well, I don't know how close Hashel is to his next Dragoon level up. 
I wish I wish there was like that dragon experience bar, but there isn't such a thing. We'll replace Rose with Maru for now. Shauna, I'm not particularly other than her slightly low level. Hmm. Fine. This is probably gonna hurt me in the long run, but hey. <laughs> Whatever floats my boat, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here and head back to Danau. So we can actually get to the twin castle castle and fillets, I think it's called. Anyway, I'll keep this battle in just so you can see the new edition and Maru's Dragoon Spirit. I mean, Maru's going to be practically useless here because her spells are, of course, water element. We're fighting water element enemies. So that's not a good thing. Okay, I'm just going to attack you. Ha! <laughs> Confused you! Wow! Alright, let's see if I can't get this edition. Okay, I remember doing that before, but whoa! That was quick. Um, c could you do that in real life? I want to say you can. Anyway, as you, as you can see, Maru does not get a lot of SP from her double smack ability. So, you're going to sit there for a while. Sean has been bewitched. The screw shot ran away because it was. Ah. Why are you hitting Maru? That was quite a bit of damage, actually. I still have some mind purifiers. I'll use one just to avoid getting my rear handed to me by my own teammate. You are proving to be difficult. Now, dart if anybody will kill Maru. And Maru already needs a healing. Bastards! Making me waste my items. Dart just hit yourself. Get rid of your own bewitchment. Get rid of that glare, though. Dead! Alright. Maru is not even halfway, really. So, I mean, I'll guard with the other two party. Whoa, wait. Ah! Okay. I'll take that because she was getting SP from. I get, I get it. Dragoon! Bad ass entry, to say the least. If you check her out, she has more clothes. Thank God. But that is one wicked hammer, you gotta admit. Anyway. Ah, she doesn't have any... Frick me. We'll try to get it perfect. Ah! I've been doing that lately! Well, we'll see her magic eventually, because that's what I do when I first transform into dragon to show off their spell, but I forgot that they don't start with any MP. Ah. Frick me with the freaking broomstick. Ah, well. Still, Maru is pretty cool looking in dragoon form, and... Yeah, I'm not getting over how much more decent she looks with clothes on rather than clothes off. Which, frankly, as you've seen with most of the Dragoons, for the men, it's give them actually bulkier armor. For the women, it's pretty much stripped them of certain articles of clothing. For Shama... No, Shama? Shana, that was the stomach region. For Rose, that was basically a lot of other... Just a bit more, not really much. Actually, no. For Rose, it actually gave her some more. So, for Maru, I'm actually glad that the designers actually gave her armor and clothes. 
She looks better that way. Alright, just a quick battle with a mermaid. These world map battles that are just against one enemy are annoying. Now, as you can see, there's a trail coming from the city of Funo, which will go back to Danau. That's actually very good. It means we can now travel between the oceanic continents. And of course, first things first, I'm going to stop by the inn. And actually, in after we visit the Tiburon King, I think I'm going to head back to Celis. Yep. Er. Ah. 50 gold for a bath and dinner. Stay one night. Kind of need all the rest we can get. I'm going to restock on Heliotums, because let me tell you, for the past, like, four times I've fought Lennis, she's made me use more healing items. <laughs> I know, that's surprising, right? Anyway, come on. Just let me buy things. Bye. Yeah, because as you can see, I'm out of healing potions, and those are just as important as... Importance. Important as healing breezes. And, well, I need to sell some items. More specifically, my attack items that I'm not even going to use. Frozen jet, powerful, water-based, all attack. Just so you know what it is. And, like I said, I'm never going to use the attack ball, so... And there we go! Harlot Scram. And of course, that man who's drunk is just going to stay there. I should have taken that opportunity to save, I suppose. Ah, oh, well, it's not of uh, huge importance. Go through the. Uh, I don't even know what to call that. The lighthouse? Hey! Uh, oh, yeah, Pooler. Start! I've heard about you! You successfully defeat the monster on the prison island and the female bandit! True. What's wrong? You have a long face. We're ready to go back to Fletz and Triumph! We couldn't get the deck back. I like the ocean. Let yourself flow in the waves and winds. The problems of this world become not a problem at all. Here's an idea, Dart. Why don't you come with me on the ocean? Dart? You would make a good sailor. Or even a great man of the sea! I can. I can. I still have something to take care of. I understand. It's a shame, though. Dart, as soon as you're ready, just come aboard. Meet you on the boat! Be ready for departure. Yes, yes. In fact, I'm going on the boat. Jeez. Are you ready? Yes. Casting off. Get ready to cast off. And now, before where it was automatic, it should now be manual. Indeed. You can press square to go into the boat to, you know, wander around. It's kind of like the airship. And you can actually run on the world map, but you'll run into random encounters on the boat now, so be prepared for that. However, the deal with the random battles on the boats is that they're not much different from the random battle on land, so nothing to worry about. Now, of course, I, yeah, I wish you could just kind of roam rather than be on that path, because then you could just explore the ocean. It'd be a great place to put secret items, but... Alas, that's just me wishing for the Final Fantasy VII mechanics. Anyway, let's go this way. Get out to now real quick. Unless we get interrupted along the way. Like maybe an approaching time limit. <laughs> so guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and in the next part, we'll head to Fletz. So until then.